Alright folks, let's get right to it on today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX recently announced an update regarding Starship Flight 3, but unfortunately there seems to be a delay in the launch date. The announcement stated that the Starship has been stacked for flight accompanied by photos of the impressive rocket. However, CEO Elon Musk further mentioned that the flight is pending, pending weather conditions. This aspect raises thoughts about the FAA license, suggesting that SpaceX is anticipated to secure it in time for a potential Thursday launch. It seems the FAA might not pose a hindrance for Flight 3 anymore, but weather conditions are now the main concern. Elon Musk's statement, Flight 3 end of the week, suggests that Friday is preferable weather-wise, while Thursday might be marginal. If Musk is referring to weather, Thursday remains the primary date. Additionally, a new NOTAM announcement for March 14th and the 15th has just been released. The Coast Guard's website specifies that the Starship test can occur between 7 and 11 in the morning, with SpaceX planning to make launch attempts daily until the test is successful in case of any last-minute hurdles. Although the FAA's NOTAM doesn't provide specific dates, its operations advisory indicates that the primary launch date for the Starship third test flight is March 14th, with backup dates set for the following two days, on the 15th and on the 16th, along with an additional attempt on the 18th. NASA adds to the coordination effort alongside the Coast Guard and the FAA within its own schedule. NASA utilizes its WB-57 aircraft, or 57, to monitor rocket launches and spacecraft re-entries. The WB-57's schedule indicates an imaging placeholder for the 14th, which could provide crucial data for a test flight on that date. In summary, while Thursday's launch remains a possibility, Friday appears to offer more potential. As SpaceX awaited the FAA's launch license, teams diligently worked on preparing Ship 28, Booster 10, and Stage 0. Once the full stack was completed, all scaffolding surrounding Booster 10 was removed, indicating that the completion of work on that section, barring any unforeseen technical issues. Additionally, signs of imminent launch were evident as individuals began arriving at the South Texas launch site, including launch photographers and SpaceX enthusiasts. Notably, even a few Cybertrucks made appearances for photo opportunities with the colossal rocket. Photographer John Krause captured a striking image of two Cybertrucks alongside Starship in the pre-dawn hours, showcasing the anticipation surrounding the upcoming launch. Indeed, three launches in less than a year would be unprecedented for a new super heavy lift rocket. It demonstrates the rapid pace of development and deployment that SpaceX is aiming for with Starship, marking a significant milestone in the evolution of space exploration technology. Musk's response, indicating hopes for at least six Six more flights this year highlights SpaceX's ambitious plans for Starship. The successful completion of Flight 3 could indeed pave the way for a quicker turnaround between missions. Ship 29's recent spin prime test underscores the ongoing preparations for future flights, ensuring readiness and safety for upcoming launches. SpaceX aims to build upon the achievements of its previous Starship test with even more ambitious goals for the third. These objectives include a successful ascent to burn of both stages, demonstrating the opening and closing of Starship's payload door, showcasing a propellant transfer during the upper stages coast phase, achieving the first ever relight of a Raptor engine while in space, and executing a controlled re-entry of Starship. These milestones represent significant advancements in the capabilities of the Starship rocket and demonstrate space SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. SpaceX's plan for the third Starship test includes attempting to land both the first and second stage rockets. The upper stage's engine relight in space will be tested, with the second stage expected to land in the Indian Ocean. However, the success of these plans depends on the outcome of the mission. While failure is always a possibility, SpaceX aims for a successful outcome. With two previous flights completed, the upcoming test will showcase the potential of this groundbreaking mega rocket. Starship's ultimate goal is to facilitate human exploration of the Moon and Mars paving the way for sustained space missions and potential colonization efforts on these celestial bodies. In other space news related to SpaceX, 
On March 12th, the Crew Dragon spacecraft Endurance completed its return journey, splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico near Pensacola, Florida at 5.47 a.m. Eastern. This marked the end of the 199-day Crew-7 mission, which began in August. The multinational crew, consisting of NASA astronaut Jasmine Mokbelli, European Space Agency astronaut Andreas Mogesen, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov, disembarked from the capsule within an hour of splashdown. The rapid recovery of the capsule set a new speed record among the 12 Crew Dragon splashdowns. Steve Stitch, NASA's Commercial Crew Program Manager, praised SpaceX's team for their efficiency in retrieving the capsule, crediting favorable weather conditions for the swift recovery. Endurance's third successful mission, totaling 534 days in space, solidified its status as the crew-rated vehicle with the longest space tenure in history. Benji Reed, SpaceX's Senior Director for Human Spaceflight Programs, emphasized this achievement, highlighting the Dragon spacecraft's reliability as an industry workhorse. Crew-7 left the International Space Station, or the ISS, a week after the arrival of Crew-8 on the Endeavour spacecraft. Crew-8, with 476 days in space and counting, is poised to surpass Endurance's record. NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic, Michael Barat, and Jeanette Epps, along with Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grebenkin, will remain on the ISS for the next six months. The conclusion of Crew-7's mission frees up a docking port on the ISS for the upcoming Cargo Dragon mission. Cargo Dragon mission, CRS-30, set to launch later this month. Following a month-long stay, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner is scheduled for its first crewed flight in early May. Meanwhile, another innovator in the industry, Rocket Lab, had successfully launched a radar imaging satellite for Japanese company Synspective on March 12th. The launch took place at 11.03 a.m. Eastern from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. Initially delayed by three days due to weather conditions, the launch occurred at the end of the day's, day's approximately 75-minute launch window, which was also impacted by weather considerations. Approximately 54 minutes after liftoff, the Rocket Lab Electron deployed the Strix-3 satellite into a sun-synchronous orbit. This mission marked the fourth Electron launch for Synspective, a company focused on developing a constellation of Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, imaging satellites. Previous Synspective satellites were launched on Electron missions in December of 2020, February of 2022, and September of 2022. Synspective has successfully secured over $200 million in funding to establish a constellation of SAR satellites, including a significant $100 million Series B round in March of 2022. The company's ambitious plan aims to have 30 satellites in orbit by 2026. Strix-3 is the fourth Synspective satellite launched by Rocket Lab. With two more Electron launches included in a multi-launch contract announced between the two companies in July of 2023. Dubbed All Night Long by Rocket Lab, this launch marked the 45th Electron launch overall and the third Electron mission in the current year. The National Reconnaissance Office's fourth Electron mission is scheduled for no earlier than March 20th from Launch Complex 2 at Wallops Island, Virginia. During the company's earnings call on February 27th, Chief Financial Officer Adam Spice revealed that Rocket Lab has 22 electron launches planned for the year, a notable increase from the 10 back in 2023. Among these, two are for the suborbital version called Haste, characterized by a higher selling price, but also higher costs due to range fees and mission assurance requirements. And there you have it, folks. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.